guys, welcome to my very first speed draw on this channel in probably of my entire life. I haven't actually done one of these before. Um, I guess it's not really a speed draw, you can call it more of a speed illustrate. Um, I do a lot of vector art and I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys how I make a lot of my vector arts and just to have some fun with it and to do something new and um, this is also my first time doing a voiceover. Um, and I find these incredibly difficult to do because I run out of things to say or I say a lot of ums. So please excuse me. I am trying my best and, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm trying my best. I really am. I really am. Uh, so as you can see today I'm doing, okay, let me not butcher this name. Ignev, <laughs> oh God, I've already started. It, you, Evgenia Medvedeva. Right. I think that's how you say it, according to Russian Google Translate, which I don't know if you've actually typed the name in, Russian to Russian, and tell me what you think of the um, Russian spoken translation. It's great. So I was watching the ISU World Champs about two, three, that's about a month ago, actually, about now. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with Yingevna, who is the current world champion. Um, she's also got a heap of other titles, titles as well, and she's only 17 and she's just adorable. Um, she's everything I want to be in a person. <laughs> An incredibly talented figure who has so much emotion and she's just a lot of fun. She's also a huge nerd, which I love. And you see a lot of pictures of her and um, Yus uh, Yusuke? Oh my god. No, Yuzuru Hanyu, sorry. Um, who's one of the, like, the same thing. He's like a young top figure skater and it's just incredible. Um, just quickly here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a picture of her face just to kind of get a general, a bit of sense of like where to position things for the drawing. And then I could not get this hand for the life of me. So I've had to take something from Google and I couldn't even find, this took me ages to find. Um, and it wasn't even like a full hand that was cut off. Um, it looks ridiculous at the moment, but obviously when you get into Illustrator, we can like shrink it down. So it'll look fine. Trust me, it'll look fine. Um, yeah. And I put a Luna in there as well. Cause she is, she's so adorable and her, she always carries around a little Luna. She must've got it while she's in Japan. Cause they're like a limited edition. It's like a tissue box. So like, it's perfect for a figure skater. Cause if, I don't know if you guys are interested at all, but I guess if you're here, you're probably somewhat interested in figure skating, um, spins and all that sort of stuff. Like yeah, even after like two or three minutes, it must be the cold or something like your nose is running. You didn't have a cold five minutes ago, but you do now like that. That's particularly me where it's like, Oh, I feel great. And then after 10 minutes of uh, spinning, I'm like, my nose is running. I have a cold. Even that's not true. Um, excuse the, the, uh, I don't want to say blackface, but, um, I, it's not my fault. That was just the default colors for Illustrator. I do apologize. Um, but she will have a, well, look, she got a face now. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing the outlines here and you can kind of see how I been forever on the points. Um, I kind of start with the face cause it's a really good place to kind of ground the image. And I always want to do the eyes first as well, because they're really striking point. Um, for the piece, you know, if you don't really have the eyes, they kind of start to look creepy. Um, so I just do really basic eyes and <laughs> she will look funny at times when I'm just like playing around with the, the shapes and things and, um, haven't quite got everything in the correct place, but really it's just to get everything almost like I say on the canvas or on the piece of paper, um, so that I can start working on other things. Um, another thing I tend to do if this frustrates you, I'm sorry, um, is that I will bounce between lots of different things. Um, and I also tend to work on one side, get it perfect, and then I will flip the, um, to the other side, um, which I'm like the smartest thing to do because otherwise things don't look symmetrical and you want them to look somewhat symmetrical. So if you're not much of a figure skating fan, um, go and check out her routine. It was pretty impressive to watch. It's the ISU world champs in Finland, I think that was. Yeah, yeah, they were in Finland. And it was really cool to watch and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, yeah, she's a really, really cute little girl. Um, I've kind of become somewhat obsessed. I know it's weird. I don't usually get obsessed about people, but she's probably the first person I've become, not obsessed, like not creepy or anything like that, but um, just really interested in because um, she loves Yuri on Ice as well, which is like, oh, you're such a nerd. It's, it's fantastic. Um, like it's cool to see someone who's a nerd, but also like a like serious sportsman. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, just doing the outlines and stuff. 
which will take me a little bit. Anyway, so in this video, I'm only going to do the face. Um, and the next part, we will go back and fix it up and stuff. But I kind of get the face to a place where I'm really happy with it. Um, and then on the next video, we're going to work on the, pretty much the rest of it. I did miss a few bits and pieces, so I do apologize um, if they're not in the between the two videos. Um, but I'm sure you can get a general idea of how I create these sort of things. Yeah, so she's looking looking very cute. Looking great. She looks a bit like her grandma. Um, oh, we're making it a wee bit bigger for the canvas. That's good, aren't we? Oh, we're good. For this, I didn't really have a color scheme, but something I have been doing recently is trying to have a palette to begin with of maybe four or five colors. And then basically I will, um, I will like do like this kind of diagram thing where I try and connect the colors. So it keeps within the same kind of color palette. Um, so if everything's really dull, I'll use dull colors um, and it all kind of sits together well. And if there's like, um, so the colors might not be perfect. Um, this one I've used really, really vibrant colors. Um, but you'll see when I do some, I've got some other ones coming up, other videos coming up. Sorry, should I say? Um, this one's really vibrant. I just kind of went off colors that, um, I mean the jacket was really vibrant. So I just went off that. Um, but I am trying to use color palettes that are a little bit more refined, I guess, and not so much like really vibrant and bright. You know, the first things you think of, you're trying to, I'm trying to get more into lighting and things like that and hues and things. It's quite fun. Um, so I'm just bringing on the eyes at the moment. Her eyes are really adorable, but I actually found them really hard to do. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She's still, excuse me. <laughs> she's still quite young. Um, so she doesn't wear a heap of makeup, but she does have quite dark and quite sunken. In. She's got like, yeah, classic European eyes. Um, I guess I'm just doing the eyelashes at the moment, but they end up just going because I just didn't like the way they looked. She's yeah, she really does have simple makeup and I just wanted to keep it really simple. And for some reason I couldn't figure out how to do eyelashes today or well, that day. Um, yeah, really wasn't going well. <laughs> Sometimes eyelashes are fine, but I tend to like to do just maybe one or two really, really big ones. Um, so, but yeah, I just went with the winged cause she hasn't really got like a heap of makeup on stuff and then I am um, just doing the baseline I guess as you called your waterline I can't remember what they call it makeup videos but um yeah so we just put some eyelashes on that I went really pointy um I don't know if it was because I was lazy that day or if um it was an effect I was going for but I just did really pointy eyelashes I didn't give them any curve or anything it actually didn't look too bad I mean they're so tiny no one's gonna notice and I also didn't like the black so I went in and did them all brown like a semi brown which I think softens it a lot, which um, can help. I don't like to use black too much um, if I can help it. So obviously the nostrils and stuff don't need to be black. Um, the inside of the mouth doesn't need to be black. The pupil, I will do black. Um, and I love a really like standout eye. So yeah, I will do black eyeliner or eyelashes or whatever. She's looking a little bit like not herself. <laughs> Um, it does take quite a bit for it to kind of come together and um, I just find that once I get kind of the basic shapes in and I get the um, the lines in and stuff then I can start working on proportions and then it's really easy just to like resize things shrink them make them squeeze them that's the other one I was going for squeeze them or um, yeah you elongate them narrow them that sort of thing especially with eyes just to get them to look right um, but yeah I, I didn't she also is quite, I want to say puffy. I don't want to be mean to her. She's cute. Um, I don't, I want to say puffy, but like she has quite a deep under eye and a deep, I guess you could say she's got a very deep eye socket. I think that's what that is. Um, so her eyes are quite difficult to do and to get to look right without making her look like a wrinkly old grandma. That was my struggle. Her nose is quite fun because she's got like a really cute, adorable little nose. Um, at the moment it's looking a little bit big, but, um, we will squish that down later. Um, so that was quite fun. I haven't really done nose like that in a while. Um, I don't think ever. Most of the noses I do are like European noses or, um, like, I don't know, preferred eye. I don't know. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. I'm having my Midori lemonade. I don't know if it's good for a sore, th uh, not a sore throat. I don't know if it's good for a throat while you're trying to do a video, but we're, uh, soon going to learn. And we're just doing the inner eye at the moment. 
But yeah, she's looking, she's getting there. She's getting there. I really like her eyebrows too. Her eyebrows are really nice. She's a classic schoolgirl, untamed, very cute. She is adorable. I absolutely love you. Nah, you give nah, getting there. I um, yeah, yeah. That that's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't want to be creepy. What if like one day she accidentally like well, accidentally, but she finds this video and then I'm just rambling on about how adorable she is. I mean, she must be adorable enough for me to make a video about her. Um, no, not a bit. Oh god, you know what I mean. I, to draw her. Um, I did post this on Instagram actually, and. So far, she has not seen it. <laughs> um, but hey, if this gets out there and you, there's people that know of her or um, are in contact with her or anything, definitely would love her to see this. And I just want to say congratulations on your amazing medal. Um, and medals, you're doing fantastic. And you're a huge inspiration to me. And I'm sure you're a huge ins inspiration to a lot of people. Um, especially us nerd figure skaters, because we do exist. Um, it, you really inspired me to, um, push myself this season. Um, I, at least I'm trying to push myself and maybe not just in my figure skating, but in general life. Um, yeah. And I just want to say thank you. And I hope you, if you do one day see this video that you, um, that you enjoy my rendition of you. Maybe not this part, because it looks nothing like you, but... <laughs> In the future. It will. It will. Part two is coming up and it is going to, by the end of this video, she will look a little bit more like herself. So yeah. Anyway, that's just my rambles, my future rambles, in case anyone's interested in what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, so you can probably tell that I'm bouncing around quite a lot. Um, I will tend to do one area and then I'll get bored of it and then I'll be like, oh, that's where I'll do this area. Or I'll just pick up a color and be like, oh, hang on, I need to put that color here as well. So say like um, I make all the creases in the face one color, then I need to go back through and make sure the colors are kind of like even, if that makes sense. So like her cheek dimply creases need to be the same. Perfect example. Thanks, video. Um, need to be the same as the ones under her eye. Um, the same kind of not depth, but depth of color, you know, something. Sort of yeah. Uh, so I think we're working on the ears. I really don't like ears. I find them really difficult to do. So recently, if I'm doing like more of a cartoony thing, I will literally just do the round part of the ear and then I'll put like a circle inside it. And it's a style from, there's two artists that I love that do it, but they do really simple drawings. I think Nemu Pan is one of them. And she kind of does her ears like that. And I really liked it because it's a really simple way of doing them. Um, but you can't really do it when you're doing a realistic piece. So, oh, we fix up the nose, yes. And we gotta fix up the lips as well. Um, I think for the, I think, we'll come back to the ears. See what I mean? Like I'm like all over the place. I will go back to the ears, and I go to the cheeks, and I'm like, oh, that's right, I'll do this, I'll do that. Um, which I mean, commentating is quite hard to do when you're just talking about what you're commentating. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, she's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So yeah, the ears. We're going back to the ears. They are coming up. I think I end up going with like the semi-realistic. I try a few different options. Um, this, well, I don't know what I was trying to do here. I think I was trying to do like the, like the rolled over bit of your ear. Um, but it just did not look right. So I end up just doing that. And then I change it again. And then I go back to what it looks like now. Um, I think at the end of it. And yeah, and then I'll flick it over to the other side. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. It looks really good. I haven't done a piece like this for, oh man, when's the last time I did vector faces? Um, I did a series quite a long time ago. Actually, it's probably my very first vector series I ever did. It was of Harlequin, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman. And I did like their half and half. So their um, <clears throat> Harlequin's, oh, it's her original name, <laughs> um, Professor... Harley Quinn, I can't remember what her name is. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, DC fans, shoot me. Um, Professor Harley, anyway, no, no, her, wait, is it Professor? Yeah, I don't know if I did her, no, I think I did her shirt. She was more like a schoolgirl as opposed to a professor. It was, I don't know, who knows. Um, but anyways, I did the half and half. I did Catwoman, oh, I can't remember what Catwoman I did. I did the one with the short hair and the orange glasses with like the pullover hat. 
Um, and then, so, so that version of Catwoman. And then Poison Ivy, the only Poison Ivy version I know, which is like the really sexy um, doctor. I guess she was a doctor, wasn't she? Um, but yeah, and that was a fun series. And I really thoroughly enjoyed doing that. And I've really wanted to do more stuff like that since. And I guess I just haven't really got around to it. And I, I hate myself for it because I absolutely, enjoy, like, I loved it. The first one took me, I think, two days to do. And then the other two took me, like, a day. And then the other one took me half a day once I kind of figured it out. And now I've just gotten really good at knowing how to do a face and kind of simplify it down. Because I guess with vector art, it's very much about simplifying but getting the simplification in the right places, especially when you're trying to depict a specific person. For me, obviously the characters aren't, um, they don't have, like, like, oh my god, I can't even say her name. <laughs> Evgenia. Evgenia is a person, obviously, you have to get her face look right, otherwise it's just a random person. Whereas with the character, you can kind of skew it a little bit. So I found this a lot easier than doing something like this, where you've really got to capture someone's essence. And I think in the end, I do a pretty good job, but I mean, it's up to you guys to have a look. Um, if you're interested and you can't be bothered seeing the next video, jump over to my Instagram and you might have to scroll through a few photos and you will see the finished product. Um, or you can just wait till the next video and um, check it out for yourself. She looks very cool. I have a lot of fun with her. You'll see what I mean. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. Don't put... <laughs> oh, yep. That's the Midori going through. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting pretty damn close now. She still looks a bit like a grandma, but, um, oh no, it's the neck, but this looks awful. I can tell you that now. Um, <laughs> no, no, she's got a double chin. Oh, there we go. She has a chin again. Probably too much of a chin. I might we have to fix it up a wee bit. We're, we're getting there. Oh, oh, in the back of the hair. Cool. Awesome. She's looking good. She's looking good. All right. Um, anything else to say before I finish this video? Um... The next part of it, oh, we're just starting on the collar now. The next part of it will be the collar, and then I'll be doing Luna, um, which, if you don't know, is the Sailor Moon cat that she carries around. And I will be fixing up her face and doing a lot of few little extra bits as well. Um, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys that. And you see, this is the my favorite part where I actually fix up her eyes. Yep, once I fix up her eyes, she actually starts to look more. I give her big doughy eyes and she looks adorable. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing the next part, uh, stay tuned. If you want to get a notification about that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button <laughs> button down below. Like this video so I know that you enjoyed it. And even leave a comment if you really feel the need. I'd love it if you commented because it's always great to have a bit of banter with you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>